Hello students. Today I'm going to explain you about the concept working capital management. So under working capital management, first we need to understand meaning of working capital. So what is working capital is? So working capital refers to the investment which has been made by the company in current assets which comprises of cash, debtors, bills receivables, inventories and other current assets. It is called as working capital. In simple, working capital means the amount of money which has been invested by the company on all the current assets is called as working capital or another meaning is working capital means excess of current assets over current liabilities that means the difference amount which will left out after deducting current liabilities from the current assets is called as working capital you can write either meaning you can write this meaning or you can write this meaning you will get the marks so after uh, understanding the meaning of working capital let us understand the types of working capital and in the sense let us have a discussion about the types of working capital so under types of working capital the first type is gross working capital as name suggests gross working capital means a total investments on current assets or the amount of money which has been invested by the company on current assets or the amount of uh, current assets which is there in the company before deducting current liabilities is called as gross working capital. Then second type of working capital is net working capital. So as name suggests net working capital means the difference between current assets and current liabilities it means the amount which will left out after deducting current liabilities from the current assets it will be considered as net working capital example current asset is rupees 1 lakh current liabilities rupees 60000 here net working capital will be 1 lakh minus 60,000 remaining 40,000 will be considered as net working capital. Here this 1 lakh rupees is gross working capital. So next third type of working capital is negative working capital as name suggests negative working capital means excess of current liabilities over current li current assets it means when the current liabilities of the company are more than current assets it will be considered as negative working capital example current assets is rupees 50000 if company has current liabilities of rupees 60000 here negative working capital will be minus 10,000 means 50,000 minus 60,000 we will get minus 10,000 negative amount. So this will be considered as negative working capital. Next fourth type of working capital is permanent working capital or fixed working capital. As name suggests the minimum amount of investment in current assets required throughout the year for carrying out the business operation which means that the amount of money minimum amount of money which the company has to keep to perform is its production activities will be considered as permanent working capital next fifth type of working capital is temporary working capital as name suggests Temporary working capital means the total working capital required above permanent working capital. In the sense the company needs to keep a minimum a balance in the current assets that will be considered as permanent working capital. The amount which is required above permanent working capital will be considered as temporary working capital this temporary working capital will will goes on fluctuating 
from time to time based on the business activity based on the changes in business activity so it is called as temporary working capital in the sense if production or manufacturing increases means the uh, requirement of temporary working capital will increase so if production or manufacturing decreases means the requirement of temporary working capital will decreases next uh, topic we need to discuss is factors affecting working capital which is very much important for long answer uh, as per the bangalore university it is very much important for 14 marks so under factors affecting working capital in a sense which are all the factors that influences on the requirement of working capital so first point is nature of the business so if the company is service oriented it requires very less working capital because it has to invest more amount of money on the fixed assets so it requires very less working capital so when it comes to manufacturing and industrial uh, oriented business activities it requires high working capital then than service oriented industries so here if the company is service oriented it requires very less working capital if company is manufacturing and industrial oriented it requires higher working capital then second one is scale of operation uh, this means if the company is small scale industry it requires less working capital then uh, when the if the company is large scale industry which has large scale operation it requires more working capital so based on the operation the level of the operation the amount of working capital requirement will be determined so small scale requires less scale, less working capital large scale requires more working capital then the third factor that affect on the working capital is growth and expansion of the business if company wants to expand its operation expand its manufacturing activity so at that time the company requires higher working capital so if company don't have any plan regarding growth and expansion of the business it requires very less working capital understood on the company ge growth matte expansion plan ide anta heladre production activity alli avaga avarge working capital requirement jaasti irutte adhe reethiyalli if company you know has don't have any plan regarding this growth and expansion of the business means it requires very less working capital then the fourth factor that affect uh, working capital is length of manufacturing process so if company has shorter manufacturing process means it requires less working capital if company has long working capital uh, no long process means it requires high working capital example if company has only three processes in the manufacturing activity means it requires less compared to the company which has five processes in the manufacturing activity so that's what the meaning of this point then fifth factor is production policies so production policies means if the company is capital intensive industry it require you know it needs to invest more on the fixed assets more on the machineries so it requires more fixed capital than the working capital if the company is labor intensive industry it requires less fixed capital but more working capital capital intensive industry means the interest industry which perform its, ma its manufacturing activity with the help of the automation with the help of the machineries so for that purpose it needs to invest more on the fixed assets so it requires very less working capital compared to labor intensive industry here labor intensive industry means which uh, which performs its manufacturing activity with the help of more labors so to pay uh, you know to meet the labor cost it requires more working capital compared to capital intensive industry the sixth factor that affect on the working capital is rapidity of 
टर्नओवर सो रैपिडिटी ऑफ टर्नओवर मीन्स इफ द कंपनी हैज हाई प्रोडक्शन एंड हाई सेल्स इट रिक्वायर्स मोर वर्किंग कैपिटल फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ परचेजिंग ऑफ द रॉ मेटीरियल्स payment of wages to the laborers etc if company has very less production and sales means sales turnover means it requires very less working capital then seventh point that affect on the working capital is seasonal fluctuations seasonal fluctuations means there are some products which which will have high demand only on the particular season example when we take example of woolen cloths Uh, it has high demand in the winter season so in the winter season uh, the company needs to manufacture more woolen cloths compared to other seasons so when there when there is a, when the, there is a more demand the company uh, has to produce more if company wants to produce more means it requires higher working capital though the company uh, manufacture throughout the year but in the winter season there will be high demand so to meet that demand the company requires higher working capital then the eighth point is dividend policy of the company if company is following liberal dividend policy in the sense if the company is paying high dividend to the shareholders it requires more working capital why because the company will pay maximum uh, you know portion of the profit to the shareholders which will you know it will left very less amount to meet its working capital purposes so at that time company should uh, you know maintain higher working capital so if the company is following stable dividend policy at that time company requires less working capital stable dividend policy means a fixed percentage of fixed portion of the um, of profit will be transferred to the shareholders as a dividend remaining will be retained by the company to meet, to meet its working capital purposes so if the company is following liberal dividend policy here company need to have more working capital if company is following stable dividend policy it requires less working capital because with the help of the profit only company can meets its working capital requirements then the ninth factor that affect on the working capital is taxes higher tax rate in the sense if the company uh, need to pay high higher uh, rate of tax to the government means it needs it needs to uh, have higher working capital if the rate of tax is less means company needs to have less working capital then the 10th one is profit level if company is earning very good profit higher profit means it can easily contribute to the working capital more if company is not earning sufficient profit if company is not earning higher profit means it cannot contribute to the working capital so at that time you know uh, it it cannot depend on the profit to meet its working capital requirements next the 11th factor that affect on the working capital is government regulations uh the government it may be central government or state government may frame rules and regulations relating to the working capital activities of the company for example uh, the government may fix a level for keeping or holding inventory and data in the company the company cannot exceed such level example if com- if the government fix some amount of money maximum amount of money that can be uh, kept by the company as a debtor or as inventory the company can hold uh, or can keep inventory and data up to that level it cannot exceed that level so that com- the obviously since it is a current asset it will affect on the working capital of the company then 12th factor is credit policy of the company example if company is following very liberal credit policy it requires higher working capital it means that if when the company sell any of the uh, you know any of the manufacturing product on credit basis so it has to collect amount from the debtors within the allotted time within the given time so within a short period of time if company is not able to recover that amount means it uh, amount means it is following 
very liberal credit policy so at that time when company fails to recover working capital it has to depend on the external sources it, it will create higher working capital demand the 13th factor that affect on the working capital requirement of the company is price level changes in the sense when the prices of the inputs which are required for the manufacturing activity increases means that will increase require requirement of working capital so when the price of the input decreases means that will decrease demand for the working capital the 14th factor that affect on the working capital is depreciation policy of the company when company charges higher depreciation it will obviously reduce its profit level when the profit level of the company decreases means the company cannot retain higher portion of profit to meet its working capital activity so when company charges uh, lower depreciation so at that time the company can maintain higher profit level so by which it can meets its working capital requirements these are the factors which affect on the working capital requirement of the company thank you